Hello everyone, welcome to another edition of the Ohio Guys here. I'm Christian Ocampo and today I'm joined by a new guest and this one is with Tamara Ryan. How are you doing Tamara? Good, thank you. And it's Tamara. Oh, Tamara. <laughs> My mistake. I apologize for that. No worries. <laughs> well, it's good to have you here. We're excited to uh, have you in this episode. So we have a few questions we'd like to ask you. First of all, what's it like working in the industry today? Oh, well, that's a loaded question. <laughs> um, let me see. What's it like working in the industry today? Very exciting, definitely. Um, there's so many projects coming out, especially like indie games. Um, there's so much new potential work out there. Uh, so for people who are trying to get into game work, there's more opportunities than ever. Uh, which is really awesome. Um, but then there's also the strike that's going on uh, for Union, and, you know, the bigger AAA games aren't wanting to really negotiate with the voice actors, so that's unfortunate. Um, there's also a lot of talk of uh, just generally clients that want to pay less, Um there's a lot of new people who come in who um, you're just trying to get their foot in the door so they, you know, have lower rates and everything. And so that kind of keeps bringing the rates down for everybody else. So there's just, there's a lot of kind of uncertainty as well uh, with where the future of VO is headed uh, sort of thing. But Overall, it's still, like, absolutely fun and amazing because the community is really cool to each other. Like, everyone's really supportive. Like, there's so many times where people are just, like, referring other people for jobs. Like, hey, I saw this job. I'm not good for it, but I think you are. That sort of camaraderie, which is really awesome. <laughs> good. Yeah. So, next question I'd like to ask you. What is your favorite show or video game you have worked on? Uh, well, I mean, Dragon Ball Super was freaking amazing. Uh, when when I got that email saying that I was Android 18, that was just like, holy crap. Like, <laughs> like I didn't even know it was like a goal for myself, but I was like, oh yeah, yeah, like, I just thought it was, like, way, shooting way too far for myself, basically. Uh, and to just have that was more than a dream come true, basically. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, I mean, because, yeah, coming home after school and middle school to watch it uh, mm -hmm. on TV and, like, yeah, it's crazy uh but character wise betty from solarix uh was really fun she's just insane and crazy and creepy and i i really enjoy getting to be like weird and insane <laughs> <laughs> so uh i really enjoyed her oh and shadow Shine as the Lightning Kingdom. I love doing my little boy voice. <laughs> and he's just so rough around the edges. And he was just a lot of fun to do. <laughs> nice. Uh, next question. What was it like working on Magi, the Adventure of Sinbad? That was really great. Um, they just called me in for it. Like, they... I didn't audition for it. They were just like you're going to be this character. I'm like, oh, okay. And I'm like, I don't, you know, I kind of have in my head, I watched a bit of it, like what I thought it was going to be. But then, you know, you go in there and then they played me a bit of my audition for a different character for a different series. And they're like, do this. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. Now we're getting there and we spend a bit of time like, trying to find the right voice for it and then you're just going in and doing it 
Uh, and then they're like, oh, yes, and of course, by the way, here's, like, three or four other smaller characters are going to be doing this well. Um, and it's just so much fun to just walk in and, like, not know what you're going to do. <laughs> and then just like, surprise, you're doing these things. And it's like, okay, yeah, let's let's do it. I'm ready. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. Uh, next question, since you already mentioned this one, what was it like working on Dragon Ball Super? Yeah, okay, so I uh, already touched on that a bit, uh, but it was just awesome. Uh, first episode, there was definitely some moments of just kind of trying to find my footing with Android 18, uh, but then by the end of that session, I was like, totally in the groove, uh, and I got to do, like, a power-up scream, which was like, oh my god, I'm doing a Dragon Ball power-up scream, <laughs> which was just, yeah, I'm like, uh, that's gonna be a hard experience to top, for sure. Well, congrats again for, you know, your, uh, for your performance in Dragon Ball Super. Thank you. Can't wait to check it out. Yeah. Once it hits DVDs. Yeah, right? Mm -hmm. Like, I'll be buying that. <laughs> yep. And we, the Ohio Ho guys, do not support illegal download. Buy your stuff. Buy your DVDs. Yes. Yes. Please. <laughs> All right. Uh, next question, and we're going to the real games now. What was like working on Atelier Ferris, The Alchemist, and The Mysterious Journey? Atelier Ferris, yeah. Um, that one was another one where, uh, well, I had auditioned for it, um, but it was for a different character, but they went ahead and they brought me in, uh, for Nicola, the mother, and a couple other characters, and, uh, that one was also kind of another where you have to spend some time finding the voice, because, yeah, since I had an audition for it, it was just kind of like, all right, come in, let's figure <laughs> out, like, what she sounds like, and then, like, let's go into the script. And so it was stern mother, but also kind, because she she's really only stern, like, in the first little bit of the game. But after that, she, like, really warms up and brightens up and stuff. Uh, so, and that was really great. And doing the other characters as well for it. Um, and then, actually, by the end of it, I was like, oh my gosh, I don't know the other characters' names. I had to, like, do some research to, like, figure out, like, who I voiced. <laughs> I was like, who was it? I, like, once I bought the game and I played through it, I was, like, just had to listen for it, basically. I'm like, oh, okay, that's me. That's, <laughs> that's who it was. Yeah. All right. And now for the new game that just came out. What was that working on Shyness, the Lightning Kingdom? That was awesome. That I went to a just like a little studio that was in somebody's home mm -hmm. and it was such a different experience. Like it like I love going into Bang Zoom, right? It it's starting to feel like a second home almost sort of thing because I'm just so comfortable with it. Mm -hmm. But like going to somebody's house it's like way more I don't know relaxed I guess and personal feeling and like oh I'm just like we just had a chat over some tea and then like all right I guess we'll start recording now and uh yeah the guy said it was really cool and he he was a great director to work with Michael Circus uh and he he was just I don't know he was just really fun and it, it helped that we had, like, some stuff in common. We were, like, geeking out over Dragonlance and stuff. But, uh, yeah, it was a, a longer session because it was, um, I was the lead protagonist in it. So uh, there's a lot more breaks to be had. <laughs> uh, a lot of screaming and yelling because, yeah, it's like a fighting game, fighting RPG. Um and I got to use my little boy voice, which was awesome. Uh, and, 
Yeah, it was it was cool because it was like an anime, but not so. Uh, my knowledge of anime really kind of helped with it uh, because there were some like tropes in there that I was like, oh, I know what they're going for with this. Okay, let's do this. I got it. <laughs> But yeah, that one was just so much fun. Good. Now it's time for the little funny question we'd like to ask. If you be any character you have played in real life, who will you be and you can mix and match? Oh. <laughs> like if I'm a character in real life. Oh, oh. Um. <laughs> you know, the first one that comes to mind is actually Shadow uh, from Shyness. <laughs> Just because I've always kind of felt internally that I was just like a 13-year-old boy. <laughs> just because I'm, I don't know, stereotypically a 13-year-old boy. <laughs> like my video games and, yeah, just kind of being brash sometimes and just energetic. And, and he's, you know, he's very brave and courageous and outgoing and a really good pilot and goes on adventures so that would be fun you could always give him all uh, android 18's powers too yeah <laughs> yeah that's true <laughs> that would be yeah i mean he doesn't want to be fast and strong shooting these yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> so that would be an excellent mix mm-hmm all right, so is there anything coming out that you can talk about or anything else you want to plug in at this time? Um, I'm just going to have to plug Shyness. It's uh, still fairly new, so definitely pick it up. It's on PS4, Xbox, Steam, so yeah, grab it, play it. It's awesome. <laughs> All right. Now we come to our last question, and we always ask the voice actors this one. Any Facebook, Twitter, or any other social media for the fans to contact you? Yeah, um, uh, Tamara Ryan VO is basically my handle for anything. It's my website, it's my Twitter, it's my Facebook. So if you search for that, you're golden. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you, uh, <clears throat> Tamara, for the interview. We really appreciate it. And thank, thank you. And we want to thank the fans for tuning in for another episode of the Ohio Guys. Thank you all, and you know we hope to see you next time. I'm Christian. I'm Tamara. And we all see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. Thank you. <laughs>